Good afternoon, uh, good evening, my revolutionary people. Today is day 212. Well, today was an interesting day. It was. So I came to terms with the fact that genocide is normal in our world. Kinda, I'm still kinda working on it. I don't understand, but I don't think, I'll, it's one of those things I just have to accept. I'm never gonna understand. And that's okay, because there's a lot of those things in this world that are like that. I went to the beach with the munchies this morning. We went to the beach where there's a lot of stairs here in Santa, Santa Barbara. I almost said Santa Fe. And we had to go earlier in the morning so that the tide, was, it wasn't high tide. And so that was good. My face feels a little burnt. Or it could be the poison too and my lymphatic system acting up. Because, woo wee, the poisons were bad today. And I do feel a little burnt. I don't know. Who knows? But that was a good... And then I like had this realization moment. And I, it's hard for me to really hate like any group of people. Because I do believe that people are human. And we all have humanity. So I can't... I can't discriminate too much. I mean, people are people. We do that, like, when people know better, they do better. My mom always used to tell me that. I, I think it's because she felt stuck. And she'd, she'd always tell me when people know better, they do better. She just didn't know how to do better. There is part of me that sees this nice lady in her. Sees this person that never got to exist. She's a good person, like, deep down. She just never got the opportunity her birthright and everything else but yet she did try to be evil too but I do believe that's just the poison because I've been evil before and she's always been like super super poison since she broke up with my or since they, my mom and dad broke up like autoimmune sick so I don't know okay that was a tangent but anyways see even my mom I can't give up hope on her and she's hurt me the most yeah my mom and my dad have hurt me the most and you know what if they wanted to be good people, I would be so okay with that. I would be more, I'd be ecstatic about it. That would make me so happy. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know if someone just gassed me with something. Because that did make me emotional and it shouldn't, right? Maybe it would. Uh, who cares? We're just going with it. So, anyways, people are people. I think the Aryans have just been pretty much in prison, just like the rest of us. They just want a good life, too. I don't want to take anything from anybody, and I don't want to punish anyone. We've all had to do what we had to do to survive. Like, it's we all have a birthright to deal with. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I can't blame anyone for... I can't blame anyone for doing what we have to do to survive, right? If I keep that mindset, it keeps me less angry at life. You all should really try it. Like... I don't know. I don't, I don't think... Well, anger is good because it drives you forward, but I just don't think it's... It's not good to hate people, like a whole group of people. I think it's okay to have those feelings of hate towards individuals who have done you wrong. But not groups of people. Because not all people are the same within a group. That's just, again, personal opinion. So, yeah. So, I guess... I kind of won them over today. I hope I did. I still saw a lot of them doing things to hurt me today. I don't know if that's ever really going to stop. And then I know that it really pissed my dad off. that the, the, the Aryans are his favorite toys. And so I can... Ugh, I like... They get the most fear. Like, he instills the most fear. And he likes to give things to them so that he can watch what he can do when he tries, like, he'll threaten to take that stuff away. Covertly, of course, but he doesn't give things to people so that they enjoy them. He gives them to them so they live in fear of not having them. Why else would he give them to you unless it gave him more control over you? So, I, I know that from, like, personal experience, so I don't know. He pretty much treats them the same way that he's treated me. They're his children. 
and they're the ones that those children he likes I don't think he really likes me and Ryan it's just he had to have us because he was taking over territories he would have much preferred white children I'm sure I know because he really he really liked Ryan Holloway he did he really liked Ryan Hol and he liked Amy Uffins too he wanted white children he didn't want me and Ryan but I don't know why he just didn't have his white children it would have been a lot easier probably because he couldn't find someone to have them for him he had to get my mom and she was just like enslaved to him his whole our whole lives I feel sorry for my mom. I love her, but she was in a tough situation too. She was a neat lady when I was younger. I remember like picking fruit with her and just random stuff like that. She always took me to go do like healthy things. And then she just stopped doing those things. And then she got sick. <laughs> And then she had my brother. I don't know. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. So I made progress again today. I'm tired. I was up early and wrote some stuff this morning. I don't remember what I wrote. having a lot of self-doubt not self-doubt but I'm just I guess I'm nervous because I need to reach out to Keller Williams and Phoenix soon and it's like a 90% chance they're gonna say no and I understand in my brain I understand in my heart jeez, oh, right <laughs> in my heart my heart doesn't understand any of this mess And you all saw that yesterday. My heart just doesn't understand any of this mess. But I have to not think emotionally. I just need to think logically. And I just need to call and get an answer so that I can move forward. It is what it is. It is what it is. I am nervous. I am human. <laughs> I'm just tired of just surviving. I want a life. <laughs> Especially now that I realize I never really had much of a life. I didn't realize how much of a life I didn't have. But on this adventure I've seen... <laughs> I traveled before and I just never really saw. I was so poisoned and my brain was so just crazy and I was in my own little darkness, but I know it's weird, but on this trip I've healed my brain even more and I just want to be happy. I just want to be human and I think that's what my dad wants to stop us all from doing. he can't be happy and be human <laughs> and that's hard that's super hard and I know I'm not alone with wanting those things I know the Aryan people just want to be happy they want to enjoy the things they have rather than live in fear of losing them they want to love their children rather than live in fear of them being harmed I can relate to that <laughs> so much I just, I had those people in my personal life, my whole life. It's all I've ever known. And now I realize I was so right about them being wrong. It's rough. And plus like, they gave me a lot of E last night and they poisoned like my, I have this spray, essential oil spray that I made. It was when I went to the high bread area and went to the beach. I knew better. Like they messed with me big time or messed with my car big time when I did that yesterday. 
They probably do every time. Yeah, they do every time because they did that again this morning. <laughs> but they can covertly do whatever they want because they're going to do it anyway. So I accept that they're going to do what they have to do to survive. And I also accept that there's probably going to be consequences for going west of 101. But I love the beach. I love the ocean. It's beautiful. <laughs> And so it is what it is, but I'm not going to let them stop me from living the little bit that I can while I'm on this adventure. It's, it's not much, but it's something that I get. And then what else? Let's see here. Not much else. I worry about, I worry about a lot of things. I think it's just been the drugs and the the holding still. When I'm on the road and moving, I don't necessarily think so much about everything. But I just really don't have anything to do. And they poisoned me so hard today. There was so much gas. So much gas. My chest hurts because there's so much gas because it's just been hard to breathe. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> but what is right in this world, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I don't know. I don't really have a lot to say. Still kind of coming to terms with the fact that genocide is okay, or it's just so widely known about. I don't know. The Hispanic people look at me with such guilt today. I don't know what it is. I don't, I didn't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It'll take me a while. But, I don't know. Just always keep going, right? That's what I do. And then... It's just a lot of gas today. Went to the beach though. That was nice. There's just so much unknown in my life or... Yeah, this is pretty much... I mean, I'm okay with living in the unknown, but... limbo. I'm living in limbo right now. It's really not fun. Which is what, you know, they want. They want they've always wanted to ruin my life. But they want me to be super sad about it and I just try and take it for what I can. Oh, I had clean food today. That was nice. And I got clean water today. I haven't had that in so long. And I'm sure it won't happen again for a while, but it happened today and it was really nice. They've ta I've taken E so many days in a row, but today I haven't really gotten too much. There was a little bit of gas during the day that was E gas, but not too much. They're big on the lead cigarettes lately. They're doing a lot of those. They make Tika go crazy. I just don't really have a lot of nice things to say. I'm kind of grouchy today, I think. That makes sense. I am kind of grouchy. Okay, well I should probably walk the dogs. <laughs> Yesterday was a lot, so I'm still kind of taking that in. I love you, my revolutionary people. Let's do a good thought of the day. What is a good thought of the day? I just put myself on the spot and I'm not quite sure. Things are starting to glow red again. <laughs> Whatever they put in the gas today is pretty intense. It definitely has lead in it. Good thought of the day. I don't know. We're going to have to do one of those later. Live and let live. That is one of the things I tell the dogs all the time. Live and let live. It's the best thing you can do some days. Today's one of those days. I just need to live and let live. I only have control over me. I love you, my revolutionary people. Be good.